got to go. going on people it's the xbox 448 and for today's video i want to talk about forza that's right i said forza not fornza like some people we know but uh yo shout out to my boy k mega i'm actually going to get into talking a little bit about k mega and his thoughts as well on this now first thing i want to tackle is you know when the first forza horizon which is uh a game made by a collaboration between Turn 10 um, and Playground Games, right? Two developers. Uh, when it first came out in the 360, it was an experiment, all right? Uh, Turn 10 was already making Forza Motorsport, which was this uh, simulation racer, closed circuit. You know, uh, you were on tracks, basically, doing laps and, and stuff like that. And it was a, it's a very, you know, popular game for people who like simulation racers. But... Um, Turn 10 and Playground Games came together for an open world, kind of like um, uh, open world racing game, but that pays homage to like car culture, not only car culture, but music culture as well. And when the first one came out, it was definitely an experiment. But now we've gone, we've gone through, you know, Forza Horizon, Horizon 2 and Horizon 3, and we've just seen the popularity grow and grow and grow and with horizon 3 i mean i i still like there's a bunch of people on my friends list playing this game um damn near perfect when it comes to like the 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 car physics the gameplay mechanics and and the graphics this game is absolutely stunning so it it got me to think because you know before forza horizon came out Forza Motorsport was that Xbox king of racers, quote unquote. And um, I'm seeing a shift here. Like, because when it comes to Forza Horizon, Horizon is more of an arcade slash simulation. All right. So, you know, it doesn't take itself as seriously as Forza Motorsport does, but still giving you the options to tweak and tune, you know, your engine, transmission, buy upgrades, all that good stuff. So it's that arcade slash simulation racer and the popularity for this thing has grown tremendously. So it looks like that experiment that they did in the beginning, um, it's working out for them because this thing is growing so much. It's causing me to ask the question, is Forza Horizon now that flagship racer for Xbox? Now, in terms of right now, today, as you're listening to this video, I would say no. I would say it's, it's still Forza Motorsport because, uh, you know, this year we're getting Forza Motorsport 7, which is, you know, you got seven iterations of, of the franchise, whereas Horizon, there's only three, right? But by the time the next Horizon comes out and if the quality of the gameplay, uh, you know, stays the same and, and, and improves, as well as the graphics and everything like that, you could... Like, at least me, I could definitely see Horizon becoming the flagship, like, racer for Xbox. And it's not because there's anything wrong with Forza Motorsport. I'm a huge, huge Forza Motorsport fan. But with having this arcade, open world, you know, slash simulation, you can still do upgrades, stuff like that. Uh, having this type of game as an exclusive on Xbox, it... It attracts a bigger audience, you know, not so, um, uh, it, it's a very inclusive audience of people who just like to get into cars and play to the people who like to go in and tune under the hood and, you know, do all the visual upgrades and stuff like that. So by the time the next Horizon comes out, if it stays true to what the franchise is doing and improves on the gameplay and the graphics as it keeps doing anyway i could definitely see it taking over as the flagship um racing game on xbox that that exclusive racer that you know everybody gets excited to play and you know i they'll still make forza motorsport for those more dedicated simulation uh you know 
video game racers out there people that really love to get into that whole simulation aspect so you know it's a uh, it's a win-win situation but i definitely see forza horizon taking over as the flagship racer for xbox now with that being said me and k mega have had a bunch of talks about forza horizon kind of like both behind closed doors and and also on like the next podcast and stuff like that and for a while now he's been saying that you know forza horizon could definitely use a kind of like cops versus robbers or police chase type dlc and at first i was like nah I, I thought about like the environment and everything like that and i was like that doesn't really fit but guys i i have changed my mind um if they added a dedicated DLC for like cop chases and stuff like that in Forza Horizon, I think that would be an amazing addition, you know, to Forza Horizon 3 and then going on into the future, keeping that kind of like a part of the game. And um, I don't see it as that hard to do because they already put in DLC cop cars, at least a cop car. Um, you know, you have people that do vinyl creations. Vinyl creations are pretty easy to do. The The biggest thing was chasing. And then I thought about it. And with Forza Horizon 3, there is a convoy system where you beep at uh, the AI that's driving around the map. And they follow you. They follow you. They try to do tricks and stuff like that with you. So at the core, they already have coding for cop chases. You know what I'm saying? They already have the coding to where AI will follow you or chase you so it doesn't look like it would be that big of a step to add in this dlc now i like i said i think this dlc if they do implement it should be completely sectioned off as that all right um use the whole map i don't care if you use the whole map just you can't really get into these chase scenarios unless you have the dlc and it's, it's sectioned off to that dlc i think it would be another good experiment to see if more people uh want that type of gameplay in the horizon series and i'm down to to play it i i mean i would actually love to see that you know with the car physics and everything that turn 10 and playground uh what they're known for with the horizon series now um i i think it would actually be a perfect fit so shout out to K Mega for bringing that up and yo big shout out to him like convincing me that you know that's pretty much a, a, a really good option and something they should really think about in adding to Forza Horizon um but that's pretty much my, my video for now as usual if you like the gameplay you like the topics definitely hit that thumbs up button for me definitely hit up the comment section I want to know what you think about a police chase scenario DLC if if you would actually like that in Forza Horizon um, and let me know what you think about the future of Forza. I'm the Xbox, do you see uh, Horizon taking over as kind of like the flagship uh, Xbox exclusive racer? Do you think motor Motorsport is actually going to still maintain its popularity and, and grow its popularity to the point where it doesn't get dethroned by another Forza game? Um, that's why I titled this Forza First Forza. Forza. You know, it's, it's kind of funny to think about, you know, these two exclusive racers coming pretty much from Turn 10 and then Turn 10 in collaboration with another development studio. Uh, it, it's jockeying for that, that throne, that exclusive racer throne. And um, I don't know. I, I see Horizon taking it over eventually. But guys, like I said, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, Definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the X Spot 448, and I am definitely signing off.